Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Mercury in the morning and Jupiter at night. Greetings, Stargazers. This show was produced before your favorite Stargazer, Jack Horkheimer, passed away on August 20th, but I'm sure he still wants you to know what's up in the night sky. This September will be the month for close and bright planets, Jupiter and Uranus in the evening, and Mercury in pre-dawn skies. Let me show you. Get out about an hour before sunrise and be sure you have a clear view to the east. Look low in the east, just above the horizon, for a pinkish light, and that will be Mercury. Mercury will be getting higher and easier to find every morning after the 13th and will be at its best around September 18th, 19th, and 20th. If you look at Mercury through a small telescope, you can watch it go through phases just like the moon. Wow! Let's look at that again. Mercury an hour before the sunrise in the east, September 13th, 15th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. Mercury is the planet closest to the Sun and goes around the Sun the fastest. This means that Mercury quickly pops in and out of view in the morning and evening sky. It's never there for more than a week or two and it never gets very far from the Sun, which means it's never very high in a dark sky. So you have to get your look at Mercury at just the right time. Meanwhile, in the evening skies, Look low in the east just after sunset, and the king of the planets, bright Jupiter, and the second planet out from the sun after Jupiter, Uranus, will appear very close together. Jupiter now is closer than it has been in the last 47 years, and on September 21st will be at its closest, biggest, and brightest of this year. Jupiter is the biggest planet, over 88,000 miles wide, that's 11 Earths wide. Wow! Jupiter will rise higher hour after hour until midnight and will be in the sky nearly all night long. This is happening because Jupiter is at opposition on the 21st, which means Jupiter is opposite the Earth from the Sun and thus closest to Earth. Our Earth goes around the Sun faster than Jupiter and passes Jupiter every 13 months. But because the Earth and Jupiter do not orbit the Sun in perfect circles, they're not always the same distance apart when we Earthlings pass by. This year, Jupiter is especially close, and will not be this close again until 2022. This means that this September will be the best time to look at Jupiter for many years. Another special thing to look for as you watch Jupiter is the blue-green planet Uranus, which will be especially close to Jupiter around September 19th. You will be able to see Uranus above Jupiter with just a pair of binoculars, but using a telescope will be even more fun. Uranus will appear to be so close to Jupiter that only one full moon could fit between them. But there is something else that is special about Jupiter, and that is that it looks different from last year. Jupiter usually has two prominent dark bands across its middle that are visible in even a small telescope, but one of them has disappeared. Here are a couple of shots by Dr. Don Parker showing Jupiter last year and this year. See the difference? So, enjoy Mercury in the morning from September 13th through the 20th and Jupiter and Uranus in the evening. And as Jack has always said, keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.